previously on the Höge Kustenleden. We started our 130 km journey at the trailhead in Unschildsvik, and after a short hike we already found ourselves in the beautiful nature of the area. We had to change our plans of camping the first night because it had rained a lot, so we stayed at a beautiful cabin in the forest instead. In eight episodes we are taking you along this beautiful trail. We are hiking through deep forests and mountaintop viewpoints, passing beautiful lakes that you only see in Sweden and sleeping in beautiful places along the way. Nowhere else in Sweden can you hike at these heights so close to the sea. Welcome to the Höga Kustenleden. Where are we at? Um, St. Logan. And we started this morning, I think somewhere around here. So we already hiked 11-ish kilometers. And right now we're going through the nature reserve called Bale Suden. Now we're having a little lunch. I let this had a, a linsen, lins, lentil? Lentil soup. Lentil. Linse is it in Dutch, so that you know, guys. Um, this morning, the hike was not that beautiful, actually. We had a very long rope walk, rope walk, and rope walk. Was I think it was about 10 or 11 kilometers of rope walking. Yeah, and it's now 12 o'clock, and now we're actually at a lake, a beautiful spot. So it's supposed to be really beautiful from here. There is a village in about 7 kilometers where we can do some resupplies and from there we can look for a next camp spot. So we decided to switch to the GoPro because it is still pouring rain out here and it doesn't seem to stop, unfortunately. 
No, the whole sky is grey and we can see some shadows of hills far away. <laughs> <laughs> but far, we're not far sure. Away. <laughs> yeah, so I think we still have six kilometers to go to the next cabin and there should be a campsite as well. So yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Some sunglasses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very rainy. Is your campsite? Not yet. We made a little detour for some food because online we saw this burger and we were like, okay, let's go. Well deserved after a rainy day. We just had an amazing burger, right? Oh my God, it, it was even better than it looked on the photos on Google. And the staff there are super, super nice. And we had like some Swedish lessons and now we are going to find a place to sleep. Yes, and we met a guy inside the restaurant who uh, stays at a cabin tonight. He promised us that he's gonna build a fire for us, so we couldn't say no to that. Yeah. So we're staying in a cabin tonight and it's not that bad actually because it's still raining, it's very windy and cold. Yeah. So we're warming up over there and then tomorrow we have a fresh, fresh day. Over there is the little red cabin. Oh, there, no, this is the Stuga. So that's like the rest Stuga. And there are six beds. On the next episode of the Höga Kustenleden. We are entering Skuleskoge National Park, one of the highlights of the High Coast Trail. Because it is a relatively short day, we arrive at our cabin pretty early, which is located at a beautiful lake in the middle of nature. Embracing the moment, we build a fire to roast marshmallows, celebrating this unique place.